protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com Welcome back. Owen Schroyer joins me in studio now. We are going to break down, you know, some what we think is going to happen in this upcoming debate. Now, Hillary Clinton, she's been a little MIA, except for that one angry shouting video that she was able to make in between her nap time. Donald Trump, of course, has been on fire, but I don't know, Owen, what do you foresee? <laughs> Well, this is, you know, for all the people who have been following this election cycle, for all the people who pay attention to Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, whatever side of this you're on, this is the postseason. This is the Super Bowl. This is the biggest thing. You know, all of these sports pundits want to sit here all day and pontificate on one game or one play. So this is our big game. This is our big pontification. You know, what I'm expecting, man, I don't even know. Who could have predicted all the stuff that we've seen through this election cycle? Even the craziest of conspiracy theorists, I don't think could have predicted all the stuff we've seen. Hillary Clinton's googly eyes, Hillary Clinton's <laughs> seizures, Hillary Clinton completely passing out, uh, Donald Trump's rise in popularism like we've seen. Uh, it's all crazy and it all kind of culminates and reaches ahead here with this debate. Now, I am expecting Donald Trump to absolutely mop the floor with Hillary Clinton. To me, this is like Mike Tyson in his prime getting into the ring with a 12-year-old who just picked up a set of boxing gloves for the first time in his life. It's simply not fair. It's simply ridiculous. I and don't most know. people should say it shouldn't even happen uh, <laughs> just based on ethics. But Hillary Clinton's going to get into the ring with Donald Trump. And what's she going to say? You know, we're, we're preparing. We're going to have great debate coverage here on Infowars.com. All of our reporters are going to be on the scene breaking down every little angle. And we're going to be pointing out Hillary's lies, and we're going to be looking at what Trump says, too. But it's too easy, Leanne. We've been watching these debates, right? And we've seen what Hillary Clinton has said. She's going to lie, okay? She's going to come out. She's going to lie. And no one's going to check her on it. They and haven't she, thus far. And she's going to paint a false narrative. And we're going to be right here doing it. So the question is, how deep is it going to go? How, how deep is Hillary Clinton going to go on these lies? How far is she going to go? Is Donald Trump going to call her on it on the scene, or are we going to see Donald Trump try to retract um, from getting into ad hominem attacks or calling her lies or crooked Hillary, whatever it is, and just stick to policy stick issues? To, yeah, stick to the policy. Because people do want to know. They want to see where he's coming from. And I feel like the, the debate moderators might even at times try to throw him off a little bit just to get him off track, to get him to say something sensational that they're going to, that'll be in the whole news cycle for the next few days. It won't be anything about what he was actually bringing to the table. Now, just taking it back a little bit to, you know, her being unexperienced or whatever. Yeah, you know, she's very ill <laughs> and she needs the stool, but they're not going to let her have that stool on the debate stage. But she has been on the debate stage nearly 40 times. She's had a uh, Senate run, two presidential bids. So she's been up there. She's, you know, she's an old pro at this. The, the thing is, is that she's never had to prepare for an opponent quite like Donald Trump. Who knows what kind of tactic he is going to take with this first debate. Everyone is, they're expecting this to be huge, one of the most important 90 minutes of this entire presidential election. And it'll be interesting to see how that's reflected in the ratings. This is probably going to be the best rated presidential debate, uh, certainly of my life, uh, maybe all time. It might even compete with sporting events at how good these ratings are going to be. This is what it feels like. And I, and I agree with you. Like you know, just, just because uh, <laughs> Hillary Clinton is very experienced in these debates, you got to keep in mind, Hillary Clinton is used to going up against controlled opposition. Hillary right. Clinton is used to going up against controlled media. And, you know, that's another question, Leanne. Do you think that, because obviously when Donald Trump has had these debates, the media has been against him. Mm -hmm. They've been trying to spin and twist questions and put him into a corner and put him in awkward positions. But I think that's kind of helped Donald Trump in this campaign cycle. He's won every debate he's been in. So will we see the media kind of refrain from doing that because now the media realizes they're unpopular and they don't want to give Trump the advantage? Right. That'll be an interesting thing to watch. Yeah, well, and, and he has already shown that he's not afraid to, to give the low blows. Like, he'll go there. He'll talk about how your brother was the president during 9-11 and why don't you ask your brother, you know? And he'll talk about Bill Clinton being a rapist and why are we going to have the first rapist in the White House again? to be able to get back into the Oval Office and do what he's going to do there. Like, he's not afraid to go there with Hillary Clinton. So she's, it's almost like, I, I just can't even imagine how her aides have been prepping her for this. I mean, just throwing, like, they're probably getting the opportunity to say the most awful things to her 
we're just trying to pre you know prep you for what Donald Trump's yeah, gonna say, just, Hillary. We're just prepping you, uh, Hillary. I'm we not saying that you. about your husband. <laughs> Do Donald Trump might say that about him. My gosh, let well, it and, all out. And think about this, Leanne. What is <laughs> Hillary Clinton's biggest bat? What is Hillary Clinton's driver? It's I'm for women. I'm the candidate that's for women. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump is not gonna let her sit up there and say that. He's gonna point out Bill Clinton's rapes. He's gonna point out the fact that Hillary Clinton wants to be tolerant of radical Islam, which is against women's rights. So Donald Trump's not gonna let her and take that bat out of the bag and swing it saying, I'm for women's rights. Donald Trump's not gonna let that happen. So what is she gonna do Yeah, give the money back happens? to Saudi Arabia if you're so for women's rights. Give that money back to Saudi Arabia. If you want to veto the 9-11 the bill, or she was one of the people that was in office at the time when they were holding off on declassifying the, the 28 pages, she was one of the people. She saw, but she's still taking money from Saudi Arabia, which is why I think she collapsed at the 9-11 memorial. Uh, but how funny is it that everything that they're doing uh, with the DHS rubber stamping citizenships to try to get in as many voters as they can, with the media being complicit this entire time, for Hillary Clinton, with Google, with Twitter, with Facebook, with all the tech giants doing everything they can to sway the election in her direction. Even with all of that, it is her health that might take her out of this, that she can't deny. But I don't know. I mean, even there, she's admitting right in her FBI investigation that it was her concussion that made her unable to do her job and to uh, know what was classified or not because she forgot about her training. You know, that was something when she had the opportunity to take questions from the veterans. And one of the veterans straight up asked her, you know, if I had done that, I'd be in prison. Why did you get away with it? And she doubled down and said that she never received or sent classified information. And they just let her go with that. And this was after we even got to see what was in that FBI investigation that indeed at least 100 things that she sent were and received were classified. And then she made the excuse that her concussion made her forget her training. Like, really? And no one checked her on that. But we are going to be checking her in real time here with our coverage, uh, our, our crew here. We're going to, it's trying something totally new here with this debate. We're going to be fact checking in real time. We're going to be getting reports out on the fly to just, we're going to be doing the fact checking because we know that the media isn't going to be. They're going to let her get away with that like, like they did last time. Well, and it's interesting you say that because as you said before, this is already a controlled debate or, or outside of the ring controlled where the whole technocracy is trying to pump up and inflate Hillary Clinton, a dying, lying candidate. But, you know, and you can even see this illustrated. If you go onto YouTube or you go onto Twitter, folks, Hillary Clinton has no support. If you go look at a Hillary Clinton speech on YouTube, the majority of the people watching that video are thumbs downing it. They're probably her volunteers that are You there. can't even, I'm telling you, I'm on YouTube all the time. You can't find videos on YouTube that get thumbs, thumbs down at this rate. Nothing, <laughs> not, except Hillary Clinton. It's the only one. And it'll be interesting to see, like you said, is, I mean, despite the lies, despite the health issues, despite everything, they continue to dummy up this corpse. They continue to put a bow on this polished turd and act like this is some real candidate, but we know better. But is she gonna be her ultimate, her, is her health gonna be her ultimate demise? There's nothing right. she can do about that. There's nothing the media can do about that. There's nothing all the other lying politicians can do about that. We see her out there. And you know, you have the Drudge Report today uh, talking about all the things that Hillary tried to get through for this debate to be to She her wanted advantage. a stool, she wanted those bathroom breaks. Think about this, okay? Nope. Hillary, this is very important, folks. This is something that was illustrated when they first started doing these debates on television. They first started wearing makeup, and the candidate that looked better on TV usually got a better response from these debates, no matter what was discussed. That's why Hillary Clinton wanted to stand on a stool, because she didn't want to look like she was being overpowered by Donald Trump. That's the optics that she wanted to control, because she knows she can't control the narrative. She knows she can't control the truth from now, uh, from, from now on. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. This is the Super Bowl for us. This is awesome. I can't wait. Everybody's been excited for this debate. I'm excited for this debate. I'm expecting <laughs> Donald Trump to get into the ring and just knock this witch out. <laughs> and you're actually going to be in New York. So that is super yeah. exciting. We're going to have you actually there on the ground giving us tons of reports. You're going to be outside, inside, all And we'll be talking place. to people on the streets too. Yeah, I, I think so many people are going to be really into this like it is the Super Bowl. So it is going to be super exciting. That is going to be coming up this Monday night at 7 p.m. Central. We're going to be going live. We're going to go live an hour before the debate. 
Uh, the whole crew is going to be all in for this. So we hope to see you guys there. Thanks for tuning in tonight. We'll see you here on Monday, 7 p.m. Central. Joe Biggs here with InfoWars.com. Join us for our live coverage of the upcoming debate between Donald J. Trump and Hillary Clinton on September 26th. Go to InfoWars.com forward slash show for all the live coverage. And also go to the Alex Jones channel on YouTube. Will Hillary wear an earpiece? Will Donald Trump and Hillary actually be on the same stage? Or will they try to do another forum like we've seen before? This is all going to be leading up to our 48-hour long coverage on November. 8th of the election between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump and the future of America. Make sure you spread this like wildfire because we need to get patriots all over the country aligned and ready to stand up and make the changes we need done by voting and getting someone in who will actually take America back and make America great again. This has been Joe Biggs with InfoWars.com.